Hey guys, welcome to Rotor Riot. This is First Flight to Freestyle, episode five. We're taking Eric, a new pilot, to freestyle, and we're teaching him how to fly using the DJI FPV drone. All the way from episode one, where he you know, did his first flight in normal mode, to most recent episode, where we taught him how to do Rubik's Cubes and try to get I him did. flipping through gaps, and then... I did great, guys. If you look behind me here, you can see that beautiful DJI FPV drone that's, that's in perfect condition <laughs> and is currently updating its firmware and probably will be until tomorrow. <laughs> uh, but... Oh. <gasps> oh. Oh. I crashed it. I crashed it bad. Yeah, you, he, Eric crashed the first drone we had, so we have a second one that we're updating now, getting ready for today's episode, where we're gonna keep you on a freestyle journey. We don't want you to be discouraged, so we're gonna come in hot with a new trick, and that is the inverted yaw spin. So last time we learned a Rubik's Cube, that's probably the most famous FPV acro trick you can do. It's alive. It's almost ready, it's almost <laughs> ready. And now we're gonna do the inverted yaw spin, another very well-known FPV trick, and why I want to uh, work towards that trick today is because in the last episode where we did the flips and the rolls and then worked you up to the Rubik's Cube, all of that was on the right stick, the stick lick stick. It was all just with pitch and roll. Right. You didn't use a whole lot of yaw other than to turn and set up for the trick. Right. So I want to get you used to using yaw in a more aggressive way and I can't think of anything more aggressive than an inverted yaw spin. So it's a pretty self-explanatory trick. You're going to go up, you're going to flip inverted, and then you're gonna give it some yaw and rotate it. It's, it sounds very simple, but it's scary because <laughs> of a number of reasons. It, it, it's a lot of hang time, right? You're gonna hold it upside down, and when you yaw, you end up thrusting down a little bit. The way yaw works is it speeds up two motors that are spinning the same direction, and that rotational inertia forces the drone to spin in the opposite direction, right? Gotcha. So if you spin up the two motors across from each other, the drone can spin, but by speeding that up, you kind of inherently have a certain amount of thrust. So it kind of so cuts I'm driving myself toward the ground as fast as I can. A little while bit. While spinning and upside down. Yes! All it's right. pretty excellent. <laughs> Let's do this thing. All right, we are all plugged into the Matrix. We got the goggles, controller, stick cam. I've got the coolest got thing. Phone, right? This is the coolest thing about the DJI FPV, because mm -hmm. you can take someone along for a ride along. There's been tons of questions on Rotor Riot's videos about this, and it's just the dongle that comes with your goggles. Yeah. And a standard. Now, unfortunately, this only works with the full DJI drone. Some people are wondering, is there a way to get video out from the goggles to the phone using the DJI Air unit, which we use in our custom-built drones? So they won't, you can't do At that. this time, you can't do that. I'm out. Maybe. <laughs> but for now, with the full DJI drone, you can ride along this way. And if you're using an Air unit, you could always have like a second set of goggles if you're a baller. So this is a fresh drone, and we're going to go straight to acro mode. Again, if you're maybe new to the series, Link in the description of the full playlist. You can follow along because I definitely recommend if you want to follow along with Eric and learn yourself, start with some of the earlier lessons where we learn the basics because we're already in an advanced mode here. We've got no flight instances. We're in full control of the drone. We can flip it up upside down. It's not going to save us. And you can crash it really hard into concrete. You can. Tap, tap to arm. Oh yeah. Nothing like a fresh drone with a fully charged battery. It's got power. And so now I'm using yaw here to turn, which is how you're going to be familiar with yaw, Eric. Um, this is how you've used it mainly for turns. Um, but I want you to start doing just yaw and seeing how, remember when you were doing turns initially and you used just yaw and if you didn't roll it, you ended up looking at the sky and flying backwards. So if I'm tilted forward and I don't roll, I'm, my thumb is off the roll stick and I just yaw, and I'm looking up at the sky. That's scary. And that's because you gotta, you gotta either compensate by using roll. So now I'm going to use enough roll to keep the horizon flat as I go around this turn or get the drone level so that as I yaw, I can just use yaw and the horizon doesn't change too much. Right. And in the case of doing an inverted yaw spin, that's where it's going to be really important to find that level spot while inverted so that you can give it just yaw and do the trick more easily. But let's say if you were gonna do maybe a upright yaw spin through a gap or something, that's gonna be where you're gonna cheat it and actually you're gonna be doing roll and yaw together. So like this one, we go through this gap and as I go through it, I'm gonna do a little bit of like a woo through the gap there. Gotcha. It's a little sloppy, but you get the idea. I use yaw and roll together. Um, but now I'm gonna show you what we're gonna work up to. Get nice and high, lots of room for air. We're gonna flip, I'm gonna do it wrong here. I'm gonna flip Should upside down, and when I yaw, oh look how wonky the horizon got. Did you see how it got all wonky? Yeah, yeah. That's because I didn't actually have the drone even. 
So this time I'm gonna find an actual even point for the drone. And now when I give it yaw, <laughs> the horizon stays more, more flat. And it's tough. You, it's tough to get it perfect. You don't necessarily have to get it perfect, but the more flat you can get it, the better your yaw spin is gonna look. That's a pretty good one. And you wanna stay low on throttle. I don't know if I lowered my throttle all the way on that one, but that you really should as you go through it. We're gonna go boom, full cut throttle, yaw, bail. I'm not getting the full, a proper inverted yaw spin should be a full 360. So I'm gonna go more heavy on the yaw and see what this drone is capable of. Whoa. Woo, there is some serious prop wash there. But it's a great trick that, whoa. <laughs> Be careful, that concrete's not very forgiving. That's gonna get, this is a great trick that's gonna get you familiar with using yaw to do tricks and not just rolls and flips. Yaw is a really powerful tool for expanding your tricks and how you can mix things together too. So another thing to work on is let's say I'm really pitch forward. I'm gonna do a half roll. Look how I'm looking at the ground there. Mm -hmm. That's because I was pitch forward, so as I flipped upside down, I ended up, uh, I'd have to show you third person, but you end up looking at the ground. So in the case where, look at this, I'll be pitch forward again, and now I'm gonna keep the horizon centered through the roll. And the way I did that, if you look really closely at the stick cam, I'm moving roll and yaw in the opposite direction. So, I was doing that in the last episode. Hey, yeah, it's a, it's a really good thing to practice because if you can get good control over not just mixing, but also counter mixing roll and yaw, you'll have full control over how you want the roll to look. Whether you're doing a split S and maybe you do want the roll to turn into more of a dive. So in this case, I didn't use any yaw. I wanted it to turn into a dive. Or maybe I'm doing something snappy, you know, I want to do more of like a kickflip looking thing. I want to, boom, counter mix it so that the horizon stayed nice and flat gotcha. through that sort of trick. There's all sorts of things you can do with yaw. And the ultimate would be, you know, the classic inverted yaw spin. That was a pretty good one. <laughs> That's clean. But yeah, as you learn it, we're going to have you just get nice and high. And like we did before when we were learning the Rubik's Cube, where we broke it down into very discrete steps and really had long pauses, we're gonna get you nice and high. We're gonna put you upside down, and we'll give it some yaw, and then we'll bail. That was just a 180. And you could start, you could start even less. You know, you could go upside down, do a little 90, and then get out of it. And just work your way up to the full 360. So again, upside down, 180, get out of it. And we'll go upside down, 270. Get out of there. Uh. <laughs> and now, look at the lake, stop looking at the lake, and then roll out. That's actually a stylistic thing. I tend to pitch into them and roll out, but you know, you can find what you're comfortable with. You should probably, you, you might find it better to pitch in and pitch out so that you end up going the same direction, right? So I'll, mm. in this case, I'll pitch in, roll. Oh! oh! <laughs> we okay? We're okay. Oh, dude. Yeah, you want to have more room for air. Again, I was, you know, you, you basically throttle yourself down. Oh, man. And long-term, long-term goals, and I don't know if we'll push you on this one today, would be to, you know, you can work inverted yaw spins into things like power loops, right? So we go up, yaw spin, finish the power loop. One of my favorite tricks to use an in inverted uh, yaw spin is to track an object as we pass it. Like, check this out, we'll do like a, so I'm gonna go past this chimney and as we pass it, I kept it in frame as I passed it while it. Yeah, that was one awesome. One of my favorite tricks to do. It's landing you in four seconds. I got four, four seconds, one more. Oh, nope. <laughs> I wanted one more. I wanted one more, no! Why do you have to ruin my fun? It told me, I, Drew, you've had enough fun. It's time for Eric to have fun. I'm actually excited about this one. It, it's somehow less, uh, slightly less, terrifying than well, the Rubik's Cube. You know, it, it, it does look simpler. You know, with the Rubik's Cube, it was forward pitch, roll, backward pitch. It's all, it was a lot. This one seems simpler, but I'll, I'll tell you, it's, it can be very disorienting. And that getting that horizon level so that when you yaw, you don't get wonked out is, is a very practiced skill. You're totally capable of doing this. You've been doing awesome this whole series. And I would just keep that finger on the panic button. So if you go inverted, you're all around and all of a sudden all you see is sky, boop, 
Save me! Save, Save me! me. <laughs> Save me! So I want to just give a little third person perspective on what we were working on before you go up and how you mix yaw, right? So when you yaw, the yaw will always be flat relative to these arms. Just yaw is only gonna do this. Right. If you wanna do anything else, you're gonna have to mix in roll. Same same with just roll. Roll's always gonna be relative to the body of the drone. So just roll is gonna do this. And where that comes into play is if you're going forward, it means you're pitch forward. And if you just give half roll, that means you're gonna do this. Right. And now I'm looking down. So again, when I was doing split S's over that, I would go, I was pitch, I was pitch forward going at it. I'd roll, now I'm in a dive, and I can pull right under. And we'll get to split S's in a later episode, but that's a, that's a, a, a place where you might not want to mix it. But if you're doing more of that snap roll where you want to keep the horizon uh, nice and crisp in the center and proper, then you want to, as you're going around, mix in opposite yaw, and the effect will be the drone will rotate like this. You basically wag the tail right. around a circle, and the intended effect is to get the drone rotating about the axis of the camera, so you're staying getting, with it, right? Getting something that looks like the horizon is staying flat, when in actuality the drone is doing a lot more complicated of a maneuver, huh. right? So same thing with doing a yaw spin. If you are going through an obstacle and you want a yaw spin as you go through that obstacle, if you just yaw you're gonna end up flying backwards. Maybe if you're cricket, you wanna do that. But if you wanna do a complete yaw spin, keep the horizon flat, you're gonna to need to add roll together so that you essentially spiral that as you go through. Okay. Or where do you maybe not wanna mix it? The inverted yaw spin. You get them nice and high, get the drone flat. And the effect is you'll actually be looking more at the ground right. when the drone is flat like that. And then now you can use just yaw to get a clean yaw spin. So there are times where you do want to counter mix. There's times where you want to mix them coordinated. There are times that you want to mix them opposite, cross, oppositely, yeah. right? And then there are times where you don't want to mix them. Gotcha. And we're going to practice all of these things. And the ultimate trick for today is going to be an inverted yaw spin, nice and high, nice and crispy. Let's get it done. Do it. And he's up. All right. So the first thing I'd like to see is the thing you can already do very well which is a nice coordinated turn. Let's see yaw and roll mix together to do a nice, beautiful turn. Look at that. Let's do it a little lower. You a little bugger. slower. You, you see, you don't want to go so fast all the time. Let's go nice and slow. And how about that, that firm right there? Turn left right now. Yeah, look at that orbit. Beautiful. Uh, you lost it a bit. Let's see if you can go back and do a nice turn around it. And really do like a full 180 turn so you get kind of like an orbit around it. I'm just gonna move the sticks together. Need more roll there. Need more roll. Whoa, nice bail. When in doubt, power out. Nice coordinated turn. Here we go. A little pitch forward, pitch forward through it. While roll. There, that was perfect. That was perfect. Look at that. Look at that. Look at you, champion. <laughs> All right, now that skill that you've been practicing, where you've been very good to coordinate all your turns, I'm gonna have you break that. Let's get low again. Maybe like just below the tree line. That's a good, that's a good um, height right there. Now, just yaw. Yeah. Ah. Manage your throttle. I know it's scary. You're looking backwards. That's nice backwards flight. But you see what happens when you don't coordinate. But now if you bring the drone flat, don't fly forward. Just bring it flat and now just give it yaw. See, it's not so bad. So when we get up to the inverted yaw spin, that's what we're gonna have you do. We're gonna have you get the drone flat. We're gonna break your, your memory and your training to always be coordinating and just use yaw after getting the drone in an inverted and flat position. Nice, nice. that was good. It's fun. Do you wanna try some of the rolls and the non-coordinated rolls too? So you know, get up higher while flying forward. Give it just roll, just roll. Boom, see so you ended up looking down. Yep, right away. So now, counter mix them. Remember to chop throttle, whoa! <laughs> there you go. Nice. That's see, pretty cool. Yeah, see the horizon stayed almost perfectly in the center. So you can do a lot with how you mix and how you don't mix. So you ready to go for the inverted? All right, up to 350 feet. Turn it around, so I'm not, not aiming over water anymore. Mm -hmm. A little high. A little high. That's good for this trick. So now remember to cut throttle. So you weren't flat and you got a little wonked out. Oh boy. 
Nice use of that when panic button. Nice <laughs> use. I kept too much too much power in too. Get back in manual mode. All right, so let's get you some altitude so you got room for error. Let's get you upside down. See, it's, it's really sloppy when you're not even, and it's hard finding that even point. So I find it even, easier. You mean there? like this? <gasps> oh, that was really close. That was really that close. That felt pretty good. You just used a lot of the things that we practice all at once. He counter coordinated his roll and his yaw to do a roll that offset his angle so that he ended flat and then used yaw. That was very impressive, very impressive. That's pretty fun. I find it easier to do yaw spins if I pitch into them because then you naturally have a way to get the drone even. If you pitch, then you can use more pitch if you're going forward. So I'm gonna try to pitch this time? Yeah, so pitch until you're flat and upside down because you can use more than 180, basically go like 195 to end up flat. I love that button. <laughs> or I guess it'd actually be less. So if you're flying forward and you wanna pitch into it, you're not gonna do a full 180, you're gonna stop just short of it. So rather than going full 180, you'll go like 165 and you'll end up flat. So I'm gonna, go, I'm gonna go like this. So pitch forward and stop, uh, stop a little less. You went too far. Oop, nice panic, <laughs> nice panic. I'm so, just, I'm not even ashamed of it anymore. It's like, it's you know what, this is easy. Of. So remember your camera angle is up. So when you're inverted and flat, you'll actually be looking more at the ground. So why don't you try this, try to get inverted and have the ground taking up three fourths of the screen. That's a little nasty. Ended up offset. Yeah, I ended up using a little bit of roll accidentally there. There it is. Now yaw. Look at that. Boom. Boom, baby. That's that fun. sick. That was sick. I have to totally think again. Like I have to literally think to myself. Okay. Now I have to get right side up again. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Uh, I, knew I knew it was and coming. I knew it was coming. Done. It's like dag nabbit. We're just sucking these batteries down <laughs> using uh, using all this power getting up there and all this acro, man. It's crazy. That's so flipping fun. It's fun, right? It's a fun Dude, trick. That is it's a fun that's trick. wicked. So with the with the Rubik's Cube and now with the inverted yaw spin, you can do them up in the open area. But really a power loop needs to be around something. Really a good split ass is gonna be over something. So in the next episode, we're gonna have you work on power looping around an obstacle. We all saw how well obstacles worked out last week. You don't need to be afraid. We're gonna, we're gonna break it down just like we did today into pieces and into things that you can practice and we're gonna make it very Stop talking about breaking things into pieces, okay? <laughs> I've only done it once. Take all the skills that we've learned in all the episodes so far and you know just keep working on all the different methods of turning, rolling, power rolling, barrel rolling, all those different things that you can do out in the open area because in the next episode, we're gonna start intentionally spending more time around obstacles and we're gonna get you doing power loops. All right, I'm it's done. Gonna be awesome. I'm done. It's Not gonna my be drone. awesome. Not my drone. That's awesome. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Here at Rotor Riot, you can find out a playlist of all of these first flight to freestyle videos down in the description. And always click the subscribe button and the notification bell. New videos on the Aviator Show channel on Fridays. If you like big things that fly and people who crash drones. I'm telling you guys, we're doing cool tricks with these drones, but he does a lot of these same tricks with a parachute and his body and a big fan strap to the back of it. It is, it is absolutely nuts. It's a blast. We'd love to have you guys. Thank you so much for watching and Drew, thanks for having me.